Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rashid. I want to get this cut straight to the to the to the chase, uh, fellas, personal trainers. I'm talking to primarily fellas. Late, some ladies this can apply to, but mainly the fellas. If you're a trainer, uh, be whatever industry that you're in and that you love it and you really want to make a good career out of it. Be a million percent ethical. Just be fucking ethical. Plant your seeds in fertile soil. Beautiful things to grow. A lot of guys, especially trainers, are fucking creeps when it comes to every girl that walks into the gym. Don't do it. Don't be like that, fellas. Listen, you make shit weird. You might try to get at this girl. Sometimes they're trying to be nice. They don't want to fucking be like, yo, step the fuck off. So they act nice. You may think they like you. and <laughs> That's not the case. Or, you know, uh, you might start dating somebody else's client. Shit gets weird. You're fucking up people's money. You're fucking up the flow of the gym. It's just not, it's not ideal, right? Don't shit where you lay your head at. Listen, guys, if a girl wants to get with you at work, I mean, that's where y'all meet at, so be it, whatever. But just don't be a fucking creep. It fucks up your money. I know guys who have been creeps on their clients and everybody else's clients and every female member in the gym years ago, and these guys are still in the same fucking position struggling to pay their gym rent. It's not a good look. You make yourself look bad. You look thirsty as fuck. You make your gym look bad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, especially at my gym in Iron Addicts, Miami, I have a zero tolerance for that. So if any of y'all listening, this is a, a this is a notice. This is a warning. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I love women just like the next man. The gym, you see the most beautiful women on earth. However, when it's your place of business, when this where you work at, just try to fucking cut. It's a lot of women out there, man. All the women you see in the gym, those are not the only women around. You know what I mean? You're going to fuck up your money. Listen, fellas, a lot of y'all spend way too much time chasing women. Don't do it. Don't do it. You chase women, you're taking up time, effort, and energy on chasing your bottom line, chasing money, chasing success, chasing your goals. Okay? The women are always going to be there. And they're there in a better, better and bigger capacity when you've gotten to the money or when you're getting to the money. And women respect an ambitious man that's fucking handling business. They can sniff out a creep a million miles away. When you're a creep, when you're only chasing women, you're always chasing women, that's what you're all about. They see that shit and no legit woman is going to be available to you. They're going to look at you like, like you're a lame and that's pretty much what you are. So, fellas, a word to the wise is sufficient. Don't be like that. Be ethical. Take your craft serious. You know, draw a line, man. Draw a line. I'm not saying be some fucking guy, uh, uh, celibate and all of that shit. I'm not saying that. But when it comes to work, cut, draw a line in the sand. Don't cross over those lines, man, because you'll end up being that guy still working at the gym years later, fucking struggling to pay your gym rent. You don't want to be that guy because you're focusing all your energy and your efforts on chasing chicks. You know what I'm saying? You might get kicked out of that gym. Who knows? I mean, some people have a zero tolerance for that shit. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share to y'all. I'm a personal trainer homies out there because I was there before. So you don't want to fall into those traps, all right? Peace.